Hi, this is Neil Walters. I'm a BizTalk consultant and I've been doing BizTalk for over 10 years. I decided to make this video because on some of my other businesses I have, I have like an empty chair here where I interview other people and I help them to get the word out about their business. So I thought, why don't I promote my own business, which is BizTalk consulting and training. So let me tell you about my BizTalk experience. Basically, I've been in the IT world now over 33 years, I believe. I started about 1980, so maybe that's 34 years. Basically, I've been doing BizTalk as a consultant for 10 years. Before that, I was a Microsoft certified trainer around the years 2000 to 2003. And I went to a train the trainer class for BizTalk at Redmond, taught by Microsoft for companies that wanted, they needed more trainers to teach this information. So I was one of the early train the trainers. And then I went out and taught the BizTalk class over 15 times across the, the United States and Canada to big companies like Nortel, Intel, um, I also taught VB Basic, like for instance, for IBM. I can't remember all the companies that I taught for right now, but quite a few. And I also taught C Sharp and .NET and even weird classes like Perl, Java, PHP, and a few other, I mean, not weird, but kind of oddball classes. So after that, I got into BizTalk Consulting because that kept me busier, basically. Training wasn't keeping me busy all the time. And I started with a company in Florida that sold diamonds and watches on the internet. And we did an interface with Amazon for them. And we actually got their products on the Amazon catalog. Then I went to Colorado Springs and I worked for a nonprofit there, Compassion International, that helps children overseas be basically not, not officially adopted, but basically sponsored by American people. And they give them a little bit each month and it helps those kids progress in their lives and their school and have the basic clothing and needs they need for that kind of thing. And we did a system there where the information came from their website, went through BizTalk, and it was very SOA, BPM oriented system. After that, I went to Santa Fe and actually had two different BizTalk roles in Santa Fe, one after the other. The first was with the state of New Mexico, where we did a HIPAA processing system for uh, Medicaid, I believe. And we received the different HIPAA records and we processed them and then we sent them on to a mainframe for processing and then sent the data back to the different doctors and clients. Then also in New Mexico, I went to work for Thornburg Mortgage Company. And basically during the mortgage crisis, they went under. So I was there about a year. And what we were doing for them was basically, they were calling it Fresh Start. They were rewriting their entire system of something like 17 or more different applications. And so we had 17 different applications in BizTalk. And we interfaced with basically every system in their company. And it was a one year big bang rewrite. And we basically had to develop our own ESB, Enterprise Service Bus. They wanted a customized one that would fit their needs, and that's what we did there. After that, I had a short stint in Waco, Texas, where I used host integration server to interface basically the, an external web service to the mainframe. So people logged on to a mainframe CICS terminal, and they entered a transaction, and it would go through HIS to BizTalk to an external web service and return the data in real time. So that was kind of a fascinating project. I, I have over 20 years of mainframe experience actually before I got into BizTalk. So I found that one quite interesting to use my old CICS and COBOL a little bit there. From there, I went to California to San Francisco and I worked downtown in the financial district for First Republic Bank. And there we did a wealth management system where we dealt with people who managed money for very wealthy clients and they wanted to be able to transfer the money and do wire transfers, move between accounts, and other financial transactions using their proprietary wealth management system. So they came through BizTalk, and then the BizTalk got talked to the wire department and to the internal banking system there. And that was a, about a one-year project. I did a short stint in Canada where we were trying to convert a mainframe to the Microsoft platform. And basically, they did not choose to, to go forward with that project at that time. Then I went to Boston and worked for a student loan company where we were dealing with receiving files from colleges across the United States, putting that data into BizTalk and manipulating it through WCF web services. After that, I came to Dallas, Texas, or Irving, where I've been working two and a half years, my largest contract or longest contract yet at a QT Technologies who deals with receiving data from the airlines. And basically their job is to fuel, help companies fuel the airlines. So there are companies out there at each airport that hire the fuelers that put the fuel in the plane. And QT receives the data from the airline that says, we want 20,000 gallons of fuel on this plane. And that data goes through our system, through a handheld, and through various web portals. The handheld tells the fueler how to add it. It actually talks to a meter right there on the fuel cart and helps fuel the plane properly. That catches me up today, which is October 2014. 
Also, several years back, I created a website called biztalk-training.com where I sold biztalk videos on the web. And this was back in like 2004 through 2007 where videos were a little bit newer then. And I was actually selling quite a few of those every month and had a lot of students across the world learning from my own video training. And I think I had like two or 300 hours of, of biztalk training on that website. And just recently, I've decided to take all that training and put it on YouTube for free because those videos were all in BizTalk 2006R2 and of course nobody wants to buy it now. They want the current releases of the product. So I thought I'd put that on the internet for free. I'm not really sure it justifies my time right now to create new BizTalk videos unless I do it through some company like Pluralsight or something like that. So you can check my website biztalk-training.com or look for Mr. BizTalk on YouTube and you can see a good sampling of those videos. We're still in the process of uploading them right now. You can also find more about me on neilwalters.com and, and of course I'm also on LinkedIn. You can connect with me there. So I'd be glad to talk to you about how I can help you with your biz talk needs at your company.